This horse could do with it softer, you know, but it has been the best backed horse of the day up here. Ladbrokes have had sustained betting for this down to uh, two to one. They had it this morning, but it's three to one here on the course now. Rejakers trains again fit from the flat, but it does need a trip in my view. Fast ground and this tight circuit, two miles, I, I don't know. I just think it'll it'll do well to win off that, but it's a very useful animal. Oh. Uh, uh, Brad is hoping to make running on Benzie. Yes, he jumps off in the lead from Mr. Drum and Ben Sable. And quite a long run to the first. There are three flights in the home straight, three in the back straight, and then three more at the turn. Nine flights over two miles, and Bimsey setting quite a steady gallop from Mr. Drum and Ben Sable, and then comes Winwood Orion. As they come up towards the first flight now, Bimsey, from Mr. Drum and Ben Sable, then comes twice the groom over this flight. Bimsey, from Mr. Drum, Ben Sable, Winwood Orion, and then twice the groom. Bimsey, over the second, from Mr. Drum. Winwood Aram, Ben Sable over on the far side, then twice the Grum and Dane Prince nearest to us, and then on the far rail is Thornton Gate, just the back marker for a moment is Holy Wanderer. Bimsey over this one in the lead from Mr. Drum and Winwood Aram and Ben Sable, then twice the Grum and Dane Prince. And then comes Thornton Gate. Behind Thornton Gate is Keep Your Distance and then Holy Wanderer. It's quickened a bit the pace now as Bimsy leads by a length and a half to two lengths from uh, Mr. Drum with Winwood around next and then Ben Sable as they swing left-handed to go over onto the far side. Graham Bradley has made it all so far on Bimsy. From Mr. Drum, Winwood around. Ben Sable has lost a couple of places. Winwood Iran is third, four is twice the Grim and five Bain Prince, and six is Ben Sable. They jump the fourth, and Mr. Drum goes up to almost join uh, Bimsy. And just in behind them, Winwood Iran, twice the Grim, Bain Prince, Ben Sable, over the fifth. And Bimsy maintaining this strong pace from Mr. Drum and Winwood Iran. Then comes Bain Prince and twice the groom. Then Thornton Gate and Ben Sable and behind them making a bit of ground now is Keep Your Distance. Holy Wanderer is still the back marker and Bimsey is still the leader as they race now towards the home turn with three flights left to jump. And at this point, I'm afraid it looks as though I haven't benefited children in need in any way. Ben Sable has got a lot to do. Making ground all the time is keep your distance, but uh, Bimsey still has this commanding advantage over Mr. Drum in second. Third, then, is Winwood Iran. Behind Winwood Iran is Thornton Gate, who's making a bit of progress. Then comes keep your distance. They're into the straight now with three flights left to jump and Bimsey, Bimsey has, if anything, increased his advantage. Bimsey at the third last. Jumps it clear of Thornton Gate and Winwood Iran and Mr. Drum. And then comes Holy Wanderer who's made a little bit of ground and then Ben Sable coming down to the second last and Bimsey over it clear from Thornton Gate. Behind Thornton Gate, Winwood Iran and then Holy Wanderer. Then Mr. Drum take it. Keep your distance, and Ben Sable coming to the last, and Bimsey only has to jump it. Bimsey and Graham Bradley jump it neatly, get away from it fast. Thorn and Gate jumped it second, women around third and four, Holy Wanderer. And as they race up towards the line, Bimsey is going to win this very comfortably indeed. It's the best turnout horse, he's done it a good Plenty of good turns today. Bimsey, the comfortable winner, second Thorn and Gate, third, Winwood around fourth. Is Holy Wanderer fifth? Is Keep Your Distance six? Ben Sable, sorry about that. Seven is Mr. Drum, and behind Mr. Drum, Fane Prince, and then twice the groom. All nine finished, and so the result. First number one, Bimsey, owned by Mr. Aiden J. Brown, trained by Reggie Kirst.
and written by Graham Bradley, second, number eight, Thornton Gate, owned by Mr. T.H. Bennett, trained by Peter Easterby and written by Russ Garrity. Third was number four, Winwood Aram, trained, owned by Mr. Andrew Shaw, trained by Carl Burke and written by Sean Fox, with fourth, number five, Holy Wanderer. This is the winner, seven to two, Pimsy. And Graham Bradley had made this a stamina race. Look how he saw a stride from three strides away from the hurdle there. It, as I told you, the horse wants a trip. He wants a more galloping uh, course, and he wants softer ground. But Brad set off in front. He made it a stamina race. And with 12 stone on his back, giving weight away, this was a very good performance. Not only was he the best turned out, he was the best backed in the offices this morning. So uh, people have landed a rare old touch. But nice to see Reg Acres back in form. And although this horse has not a lot in front, he's got a lot of ability inside his engine. Just go to the last look at Brad. He's now amongst our older professionals in the National Hunt game. He's lost none of his skills, none of his style, and he's worth every pound of the riding fee these days. That is a good style. I know when they're winning easily, you can be stylish, but uh, he's uh, he's not fool enough to, to stop riding, but he doesn't want to give the horse too hard a race with 12 stone on his back, so he just nudges him out. But look at the expression on Brad's face there. You never lose the will to win. It's serious until you pass the jam stick, and then the grimace changes to a smile, and Brad's probably weighing up his 10% of the prize money already. A good performance there by the top weight. Yes, indeed, a number four of the season for quite a lean season by head standard for standards by Reg Acres and uh, gets uh, Brad into double figures. It's five out of nine. This uh, son of Porridge are cut it out by cut above as one. recently as October the 19th, and he really jumps, uh, jumps these hurdles as well, justifying uh, top reading by time form there. Now Brad returns to the winner's circle. After this, Stanley Leisure, Children in Need, Handicap Hurdle, on which this...